And let's go back to the surface of the drum. Let's imagine that whole clock again. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Our right hand again is between 4 and 5 o'clock, going to between 10 and 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1. Our left hand is at 11, between 10 and 11, making that clockwise circle. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, one. Let's put it together one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Day, day, to day, day, to day, day, to day, day. Span, span in the land, span in the land, span in the land, span. One trip to two trip to two trip to four trip to one, two, three, four, one. Two, Watch the pattern. Okay, that's the most common pattern there is. Covers a lot of territory, a lot of tempos. That's a pretty slow tempo. If I had to speed that tempo up a little bit, then I would have to condense this pattern from top to bottom and make it a little flatter. Let's say instead of going from between 4 and 11, I'm going to go maybe between more 3.30 to 9.30. And the circle, instead of being a full circle, is going to condense more to maybe an oval and a smaller pattern. So if I speed it up just a little bit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, faster I get, the smaller that pattern gets, and it becomes more of a side-to-side -side pattern, east to west if you want to call it that, or 9 to 3 o'clock. Because I don't want to be going fast and having my arms move like this. That's a lot of work. Whenever you play any kind of brush pattern, you want to be as relaxed as possible. So let's play it a little faster. Now I'm going to be moving between 9 and 3 o'clock here, and more of a little eight type of shape here. One, two, one, two, three. Now, if I got much faster than that, I would probably not cross anymore and just play the pattern here. And this would become more of a little type of circle here. One, two, one, two, three, four. And you can see if I had to play that this full pattern, that's too much motion. It's not going to be relaxed. So if I play here. down to get more of a pulse. Put more brush into the head that way. All kinds of ways to manipulate it once you learn the pattern. The basic pattern, nice big motion, play it for two or three minutes without stopping. Put on some music and just try to play along. Some jazz music, something in a medium to slow tempo. Let your body memorize that motion, okay? If you want to, a good way to practice this is use your hands, okay? Put them on the drum just like you would the grid pattern and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That way I'm not in danger of snagging the brush and you have to be very careful. Again, these are not open all the way. If I open them all the way, you can see how wide that spread is. I run the, the danger of a, a couple rounds snagging the rim like that, and that can damage the brush. So practicing with your hands is a great idea. Another thing you could do is get a muffling ring uh, that you lay, a dampening ring you lay on top of the drum, and as you go around, you can kind of think of that as a warning track, like a baseball player would before the, the fence. So as you go around, you'll hit that 
donut type ring and you'll know if you keep the pattern inside that ring you can play it on any drum because you, you'll memorize keeping it away from the rim. Okay, so I'm going to play this pattern one more time, kind of a medium type tempo. I'll play it slow first. One, two, three, four. All I'm doing is using the tips of the brush right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start laying into the brush a little bit more here. I want to emphasize beat two. This time I'm going to kind of put a little emphasis as I'm coming around the circle. One, two, three, four, one, two. I'm kind of kind of sweep into that two and four, and it gives me a little bit of a sha, sha. One, two, three, four. Back to normal. Emphasis. Once you get really comfortable with that, you can take that on the offbeat. Okay? Basic brush pattern. One other thing you can do if somebody says that's too, too short of a sound, can you change that? If you take your hand, turn it under like this, and come in at an angle, you can see the difference between this and this. Now I have a bit of a longer sound. So I play that same pattern. It really lightened up the pattern and made the attack from this to this. Okay? Most common pattern there is. Good luck with it. I hope it works well for you. Let's play the patterns we're leaving. I'll probably take a few liberties with it and add a few things. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Five. 